Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about China's newly developed HH-100 cargo version of unmanned aerial vehicle or UAV has made a successful test flight, marking a significant stride towards unmanned supply capability in the future. China currently is in the lead on this kind of development and probably soon other countries could follow because of the obvious benefits in this through civilian or military use. The cargo version of the drone is developed by the CN Aircraft Corporation, a subsidiary of the state-owned Aviation Industry Corporation of China, or AVIC. The test flight was conducted at the Yachang Airport in China's Sichuan Province in the southwest region of the country. The HH-100 cargo version of an unmanned aerial vehicle has a maximum take of weight of 2,000 kilograms, including 700 kilograms of cargo capacity. The HH-100 cargo drone can travel up to a distance of 520 kilometers. It has a cruising speed of 300 kilometers per hour, and it has a maximum altitude of 16,400 feet. The drone has two turboprop engine, with a high set of tail with two twin booms containing the two turboprop engine with horizontal stabilizer that connects them. It's kind of similar in design to one of my favorite aircrafts, the OV-10 Bronco. With various conflicts erupting lately, the use of drones showcased how valuable they are on the battlefield while it doesn't cost a lot. Drones now are used as spy, reconnaissance, targeting, guidance for artillery, and even used as anti-tanks. We just entered into the drone era of warfare, and China is obviously taking notes, taking the use of drone even further. As I mentioned earlier, this could revolutionize drone cargo operation and logistic in the future, both for civilian and military use. Now let me explain. For military cargo that provides transport and logistics, we're familiar to the famous large American plane C-17, the Chinese Y-20, and more importantly, the durable C-130. These are all used for fast transfer of logistics, specifically crossing the ocean or areas with no roads that can be supplied by trucks or train. But this big aircrafts are large and are very expensive. They are very valuable assets during conflicts, and losing few of them could hamper operation on the front line. Not to mention the large cost and loss of valuable human assets, like pilots it takes longer time to replace because new recruits need longer training. So this large cargo aircraft operates further from the front line and forces carry supplies to the troops on the field. They also need large runway and secured bases. Well, if any available runway is unavailable, helicopters are used, but they also face the same risk as I mentioned earlier. While these drones are cheaper and losing some wouldn't be so costly, it would also prevent loss of valuable assets like pilots. The drone could supply troops near the front lines and smaller runways, and it can even land on the highways. Imagine if you could deploy 10 drones, you can provide 7 tons worth of supply to your troops. This is perfect to supply troops on places like High Plateau in the Himalayan region in Xinjiang or the Tibet region near the border of India. While for civilian use, there are also unlimited possibility. It could be used to supply civilians, researchers, or rescue group for valuable things like medicine, food, generators, fire suppression, communication relay, rain enhancement operation, and it can even be used for medivac operation. It's useful on places that are very risky for aircrafts to land due to the rough location or weather condition. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.